lathe machine components. A lathe machine is a machine tool used to rotate various work pieces about one axis to perform different operations such as facing, turning, cutting, taper turning, knurling, drilling, etc. It helps to make a finished object. The various individual lathe machine parts are contributing or in action to give you a finished product. These parts are made with high precision to get a better result on the machine. Its assembly is complex, and it has higher accuracy in every operation. This video gives you all information about the different parts of a lathe machine and its functions. Parts of lathe machine 1 lathe bed 2 headstock 3 spindle 4 chuck 5 tail stock 6 carriage 7 saddle 8 cross slide 9 compound rest 10 tool post 11 apron 12 motor 13 lead screw 14 feed rod 15 thread cutting mechanism 16 chip pen 17 gearbox 18 cooling devices 19 legs 1 lathe bed The lathe bed is the rigid and robust part of the lathe machine. It is generally made of cast iron because it is hard and absorbs vibrations. It avoids deflection due to a heavy working load. The headstock locates on the left side, and the tail stock is on the right side of the bed. The carriage rests on the bed and slides over the bed. On the top of the lathe bed, GUID AVs are there to slide the tail stock and carriage over it. These guideways are accurately machined to make them parallel with each other and provide bearing and sliding surfaces for the tail stock and carriage to slide. It is high resistance to wear. There are two types of guideways. Flat guideways. Inverted V guideways. Flat guideways give a high bearing surface, minimum wear, and are easy to clean. Inverted VGUID AVs offer better alignment and a better guide to tail stock and carriage. It helps to fall down the chips from the bed. 2 Headstock Headstock fixes on the left hand side of the lathe bed. It helps to rotate different work pieces at different speeds with the help of a chuck. The spindle, chuck, gears, gear drive, speed, and feed selector are present inside the headstock casting. 3. Spindle The material of the spindle is nickel or carbon chrome steel. The centraline of the spindle and the centraline of the lathe are perfectly in alignment with each other. It is hollow from the inside. So a long bar can pass through it. The front end of the spindle can hold the taper part. There are two types of spindles. Threaded flanged. The threaded design carries a driving plate, face plate, and chuck, whereas a flanged one enables them to attach. The spindle is required with two bearings in the headstock from both sides. It can be a ball, bush, or roller bearing, and its selection depends on the type of application, loads, speed, and accuracy. 4. Chuck. Chuck is for holding the workpiece during the machining process. It can be able to hold work pieces of irregular shapes rigidly and quickly. Chuck is attached to the back plate with a bolt, and the back plate is screwed to the spindle nose. It is necessary to have an accurate alignment of the chuck with the lathe axis. Different types of chucks. 4 jaw chuck. 3 jaw universal chuck. Air or hydraulic operated chuck. Magnetic chuck. Collet chuck. Combination chuck. Drill chuck. 5 Tail Stock. Tail stock fixes on the right hand side of the lathe bed. It gives backing to the workpiece during the machining operation and holds a tool during drilling, tapping, reaming, etc. According to the length of the workpiece, we can slide tail stock on the GUID AVs and adjust it at a specific distance. In the barrel of the tail stock casting, the spindle is there to hold drilling, tapping, reaming, etc. tools. The spindle can move outside or inside with the help of a hand wheel having a square threaded screw connected to the spindle. 
To engage the square threaded screw with the spindle the bush is at the back side of the spindle with similar threads for providing good engagement. The front end of the spindle is in taper in cross section for more suitable fixing of the tool. By rotating a hand wheel in a clockwise and anti-clockwise direction, we can move the spindle with the tool in the fourth and back. 6. Carriage A carriage is a combination of parts to guide, move, support, and control the motion of the cutting tool. It consists of the following parts. 7. Saddle The saddle is an H-shaped casting that fits the bed and slides along the GUID base. The cross slide and tool post is part of the saddle. 8. Cross slide. It is a machine dovetail shape part that fits into the saddle to achieve cross movement at a right angle to the lathe axis. With the hand wheel of the cross slide, we can move the cross slide. 9. Compound rest. Compound rest mount on the cross slide, which has a circular dial of angle. Its function is to arrange compound rest at a specific degree to achieve cuts in angular and tapers. With the compound rest handle, we can give motion. It is a manual operation to do. The compound rest handle has a micrometer guide to decide the depth of the cut. 10 Tool Post Tool post fix on the top of the compound rest to hold and adjust the tool. We can clamp the tool like the single point cutting tool, knurling tool, etc. to do the operation. 11 Apron The apron contains gears, levers, clutches, etc. in the operation of the carriage. It plays a primary role in automatic feeds. By employing the split nut with the lead screw, we can construct internal or external threads on the object. Hand wheel of the apron help to move the carriage forth and back path. 12 Motor it is the power source of the lathe machine. When the motor turns on, it transfers the rotating motion through a belt drive, chain drive, or gear drive to the headstock spindle. Due to that chuck rotate at a specific speed. 13 Lead Screw The lead screw is the square threaded long shaft. It only comes into operation during thread cutting. It gives automatic linear motion during the thread cutting process. During ideal conditions, it provides motion during boring and turning operations. 14. Feed Rod The feed rod helps to transfer motion from the lathe spindle to the apron assembly by the feed rod. There are so many gear arrangements there to transmit movement. Feed rods help during turning, facing, and all other operations on the lathe machine by giving motion to the carriage. 15. Thread Cutting Mechanism this mechanism operates by the half-nut mechanism. This mechanism engages or disengages the carriage with the lead screw. The closing of the half-nut allows the carriage to move at a fixed distance. Split nut using only during thread cutting, not for other operations. 16. Chip Pen It is for collecting chip formations during various operations on the lathe machine. It is at the base of the lathe machine. 17. Gearbox. It is present inside the headstock. It offers variation in speed with a geometric ratio as per requirement by moving a lever. 18. Cooling Devices. During the operations on the lathe machine, a cooling agent is necessary to reduce heat formation. So cooling water pump sprays the cooling medium during the process to reduce heat and remove chips from the working area into the chip pen. 19 legs on the leg the whole mass of the machine is balanced these legs are bolted to the foundation with bolts to transfer machine vibrations to the ground it is crucial to passing a certain amount of machine vibrations to the earth for better stability like and subscribe thanks for watching